In the previous video, we exported a PSD to the PNG format for use on screen and web. I have that document open here on screen and it came out at just a shade over four megabytes in size. One of the contributing factors to that four megabyte file size is the fact that the PNG generated layers. So here in the layers panel, we have something called layer one. That would normally be a background layer and a flattened image. But the PNG format by default in Photoshop exports out to quick export with transparency, which is of no use in this case because the canvas is filled entirely with image content. So we need to edit that. It also didn't output any metadata as well. So those two things can be resolved by going to preferences. So I'll head up to file, export, and then export preferences. PNG is the default quick export file format and the culprit for that 500 extra K transparency. So if I turn that off, because in this case it's not required under quick export location, do we want Photoshop to ask us where we wish to export each file when we do so? Or do we want Photoshop to automatically generate a subfolder in the same directory as the original artwork and then put the exported content in there? My personal preference is to actually be prompted where to save a file every time I export. Under quick export metadata, I'm going to change the default from none to include copyright and contact info. And in terms of exporting the colors, I'm going to leave on the checkbox for convert to sRGB. Uh, the reason for this is that when your artwork is viewed on a web browser, it will convert the colors to sRGB anyway. And at least by exporting to sRGB, it will give us a very clear indication of what the artwork will look like for other people viewing it on a web browser. And from here, then I will click OK to apply those settings. I'll close down the previously exported PNG file, then head up to file, export, quick export as PNG. This time I'll name the file with an underscore and modified for the file name and then click on save. And then to compare both files side by side, our newly exported version modified at the top in here now is at 3.6 megabytes compared to the original, which is 4.02. So quite a lot of file size taken off there by removing transparency, which wasn't required. And also, the copyright and contact information has now been included in that new version. So those are settings that you'll find beneficial. Of course, you can modify those at any point by going back to preferences, but I would suggest with the preferences options, pick the settings that you are most commonly going to use. And if you need to change something ad hoc, you could always choose export as, which we'll take a look at in a following video.